Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek of it, I am Penge and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018 and the Brewing and Winemaking DLC. And as you will be able to see before you, winter has passed. I just sped through winter from the end of the last part. We've rocketed through winter and we are back in spring. It's the 22nd of March 2020. We've gone all futuristic and exciting. So everything's growing again and it's all lovely. I have done quite a few little research projects, so I think I may Made the, um, the staff a bit stronger, I think. Maybe it went up to 30%. And I've got the deliveries going a bit quicker. I've just done some of the cheaper, sort of smaller research things if only to give me something to do because not much goes on in the winter. So obviously we had the benefit of the super, super speedy button there to help our time move on a little bit quicker than this one. But still, it yeah, it takes a while to get through winter when nothing's going on. So that was primarily just to give me something to focus on. But there we go. So we've got a few bits and bobs and they're currently working on the production management number three, which will increase the production of our buildings like the winery and the brewery and stuff like that. So what we've got today is a couple of clear goals. There are two very, very easily identifiable things that we want to get done. Number one, which is what we're going to be working on first, we want to build the big brewery, the great big brewery whatever it's called. Is it the commercial brewery? It's not the craft brewery. Industrial brewery. We want one of those in. It's 300,000 of your monies, but it's going to be producing a lot of beer. Now, with that in mind, we might need another couple of hops fields in. That might be no bad thing. So we're going to get that in. We'll do that fairly soon. We'll have to get it staffed up and all that kind of stuff and see how it works. But that could be interesting. We'll see how much sort of beer that churns out. The second thing we want to do, which doesn't really require us to do anything except just wait, <laughs> which is good. I'm good at that. That's a good skill. Uh, we want to sell the wine. We've got lots and lots of bottles of wine. We've got 7,210 bottles of wine in our cellar and we want to sell them. But I think... Because when we go into here and we were making the wine, oh, which we can't, I can't show you. There you go. Because uh, it's got barrel aged one year, I think that need, that means that we can only sell it after it has been barrel aged for one year, which is a bit confusing because it shows us here filling up a little bottle, which implies that we're, we're pouring it in straight into bottles and we're not barrel aging them. But I don't really understand that, but whatever. So I think after a year, we will see these bottles becoming available to sell, which will be good because we can then start making some profit on them. We can see just how much wine is actually worth. But first things first, let's get ourselves the big brewery in place. That's important, right? We'll drag that across there just to make a sort of nice convenient path. And then let's go here and get ourselves an industrial brewery. My goodness, it's, it's, a, it's a grand old building, this is. Right. Um, okay, there's a two sort of way ins and ways out there, I think. Can we put it there? Would that make sense? No, it wouldn't make sense. It's facing the wrong way. It's facing away from the hops. No, I think we have it going this way. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> Come back. Come back, industrial brewery. Please return. There you go. <laughs> okay, um, let's put it there. I think that's a good place to put it. That means it's near the hops. It's near those two road connections. It's all fine. And again, it's not too far away from the uh, storage areas and all that kind of stuff. So let's get this constructed. This is going to be a big financial hit. Look at that. 118 grand. I mean, yeah, okay. We're not short of a few quid, but still that's very expensive. Now, what we also need to do is we might need, we could put one there, I suppose, another worker house because that's full the only thing we don't know is what capacity this has. Does it require two people? Four people? My, my initial thought is that it's going to be three. From what I remember of the uh, other bigger production buildings, it always used to be three people, didn't it? Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, there we go. I stand very much corrected. I'll just be quiet, shall I? Right. So let's pause time for a second. Let's pause time. We're going to need to get ourselves, if we press the right button, it might be useful. Let's get ourselves a house for some permanent employees. So we'll put that just there. So the permanent employees can live directly opposite <laughs> the brewery where they work. So yeah, that's it. There's no escape from you. You come out of here and then you go straight into there. Oh, look, it's got, it's got the things inside. You can see some of the things inside. Oh, that's quite nice. That's quite a nice touch. That's good. Because a lot of the buildings you can't really see into. They don't really have any sort of visibility of what's inside. You just have to pretend that you can see through the windows. But no, that's actually got some sort of some modelling of things inside. Okay, well, that's lovely. Well done, then. Um, so 
we've got that in. The house is in. That is, uh, that's in place. I think if this is an industrial, <laughs> industrial thing, how is it going to work? Current production. Choose a beer recipe. Pilsner beer, Hefeweizen beer, Dunkelweizen beer, India pale ale beer. Choose a yeast. Oh, hang on. Right. I like pale ale. Let's have a pale ale. It's an ale yeast. It's top fermenting. We need two pale ale malt barley and Munich malt barley. Oh my goodness. We need specific things. Oh my goodness me. Right. Okay. We need specific things. Um, Citras, Chinooks we've got. We haven't got Marinkas or Simcoes. Right. We, we might need to, we might need to uh, try and try and figure out what we can make. Can we make a Pilsner beer? Pilsner malt barley. Yes, we've got that. We need Marinka hops for that. Okay, right. We can't make a Pilsner. What about Hefeuvenweiser? <laughs> Can we make anything with the hops we've got? That'd be really good. What Dunkelweizen? Uh, we can make that stuff. It all requires a lot of Marinka hops seem to require for everything. Marinka hops are very popular. Uh, Marinka and Simcoe. What have we got? We haven't got those. We've got Chinook, Citra and Cascade. Well, how about then we get ourselves another little sort of uh, setup along here. Let's just drag that down there and that down there. Let's just let's just finish off these little bits here. There we go. Splendid. Uh, right. Let's get ourselves another field of hops. So that big. And what are they? Were they 28 wide? I think they were 28, weren't they? I think that's about right. I think they were like that big, possibly. Anyway, there we go. Right, well, it's in now. If it's too big or too small, whatever, it's still in. Um, so how about this? We put in some of the hops, because they can still grow. They can still grow, and we'll be able to use this thing in time. So yeah, we might need to get ourselves... I quite want the India Pale Ale beer. Now, we are going to need to make two different types of barley, as uh, the malt stuff as well. Is that going to be too complicated? But we do have Citra. We do have Chinook. We'll be able to do that. And then, but then we need Marinka and Simcoe as well, which is, that's just a pushing it a bit, isn't it? <laughs> that's just, that's just pushing it a bit too much. Um, what did that one require? Malt wheat light, Simcoe and Marinka. Right, okay. Now, if I'd have known this, I would have planted those at the start. But of course, we had no idea that Simcoe and Marinka hops are going to be quite key. Okay. Um, did I do that one already? That's Marinka. I think we need to plant some Marinkas. We need some Marinka uh, hops in because it seems to be used by quite a lot of things. And then Simcoe as well. Okay, can we get another field in? Is that a thing we can do? Uh, let's just put it right next to that one. Can we do that? Uh, yeah, we can. And let's make that field even bigger. 50 by 32, really pushing the boat out there. So yeah, there we go. Right, so one of these can be Simcoe. One of them can be Marinka. And it shall all be lovely. Um... So we need to decide what we're going to produce now then. So if we're going to have Citras, Marinkas, Chinooks and Simcoes, do we make ourselves some of the India Pale Ale beer? Or do we just go for like make a Pilsner beer? Or do we go for a Hefeuvenweiser? <laughs> I don't really know what to do. I don't know what the best thing is. I'm not really sure what the best sort of course of action is. I'll always just choose a yeast as well. I have no choice in this. <laughs> I cannot choose a yeast. It does not let me. Um, or yeah, dun Dunkelweizen. That does require two malts, but only one lot of stuff there. Marinkas. Yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe we go down the Marinka. Yeah, but let's get some, let's get this for now. Dunkel Weezen. <laughs> so, so we need some Marink Marinka hops and then we'll get some Simcoe and we'll just see where we go from there. So immediately we need to get people out on this. So you can go out on that. Ah, now that's what I didn't do over the uh, over the winter. I didn't repair our tractor. That's a bit unfortunate or renovate it. That, that is unfortunate because our tractor is a little bit, it's, a, it's had better days as our tractor. It's falling apart a tiny bit. Um... Yeah. Okay. Never mind. We'll have to. We'll have to put up with that. That's just the thing that we're going to have to live with. Uh, also, these fields here also need to be worked on. So yeah, we need to plow them just because uh, we can need to destroy it. Now it has been pointed out that um, I went through the process last time. I plowed it. I um, I cultivated it, and I fertilized it, and it was all lovely. Uh, I didn't need to do that. It was pointed out in the comments that as long as it's got that crop growing on it, no matter what the quality, the bees will use it to make honey, and it's all going to be fine. 
So I'm not going to bother doing all that sort of stuff on those on those fields again. I don't need to. Right. Tractor is parking up. So let's get these fields. Now everything else is all irrigated as well. It's all lovely. In fact, let's invest in that just there. Right. So let's just get this field sorted. Nothing much else going on right now, I wouldn't say. Now there's no point uh, employing these people. In fact, really, is was there any point? I suppose I was going to say, was there any point in building this building because we're paying maintenance on it, but we can't use it until the hops are ready. But I suppose we did need to have a look at it in order to try and kind of plan what hops we needed. And it's a good job it is in because it, we know that we need the Marinka and the Chinook hops. So uh, yeah, it's probably a good thing in the long run, right? Get some manure, stick it on the back of the tractor, do all that kind of stuff. So they're doing that. Is that field now done? Uh, yep, that field's done. Right, we can annihilate this field. Yes, I would like to obliterate that, please. Rock and roll. And uh, just here, let's search for uh, buckwheat seeds. Order some of those, please. Thank you very much. And then also, while we're there, we might as well do this. Colzo, might as well do the same with that because the other field is the same size. So there we go. Lovely. They'll get delivered fairly soon, I would have thought. Is, the fact, is that them being delivered now? That would be good. Oh, hello. You might want to get off that field. <laughs> We're going to start doing stuff to this field in a second. Right. Marinka. Let's put those in. So, um, or do we want to put Simcoe? That field's a bit bigger. And the Marinka hops were probably... Yeah, let, let's put... Let's change that round. Let's have Simcoe on those. So, yes, please. I shall buy... Oh, oh it's expensive. <laughs> Goodness me, that was expensive. We could do with having some profit. Can we sell some wine, please? <laughs> that would be great if we could sell some wine. Yay for the wine. Right, is this thing... Has it got any wheat? Barley? Even? Yeah, that's got barley. Okay. So this thing is quite happily... Are we still making the pills and the malt barley in there? Is that still what we're using? Um, current production... Oh, no, hang on. Right, no, that no, that one. I want to click on this. Yeah, the pills and the malt, but they've got no hops, obviously. But we're still using the pills and the malt barley. And they're still making... Pilsner malt barley, I believe. Yep, they're still making that. So churning it out. Lovely. That's good. Right. In here. Let's get these things planted as soon as we can. Simcoe's machines. Go forth and do planting of things. Really, really quickly. Because then they can grow quicker. Because obviously, yeah, already we've got... Ah, no, yeah. 110 days. But it's, the weather alert is too low. So I wonder if they're not growing. I do not know. However, there's some stuff out there that we could sell that would make us some money. Come on, you lot. Do this quicker. And also, don't run over the deer. And can we get the deer out of the hops field, please? That would be nice as well. Oh, they're going back to pick up some more stuff. Quicker, quicker, quick. We've actually got something here that can make us some money, good lord. Yeah. Okay. So they've nearly finished that. Lovely. Right. Drop these people back off. Let them home. Yay! Right. Okay. Splendid. Right. Strawberries. Go, go forth and get strawberries, all of you. Go and do the strawberries right now, just to give us at least some income. <laughs> it's just, it's not looking good, is it? In terms of, uh, in terms of money, it's not looking great. We had over 400 grand when we started this. Now we're down to 29 grand. <laughs> Ouch. It's a painful, it's a painful time on the farm. Right. So let's get those strawberries into here. And then we'll get those strawberries. We'll sell all the strawberries in one big go. They should last i think yep lovely right go grab those strawberries do that very quick then we'll sell them all in the meantime this field can be worked on by whoever you are mila uh i'm a bit worried about a tractor i think it might just fall apart i think it might go over a, a particularly robust bump and it'll just collapse hopefully it'll be okay right strawberries are all in Strawberries in? Yes, lovely. Right. Sell strawberries. Sell those for not very much money, but it's better than nothing. Um, pills and malt as well. We've got loads of that. How about we sell 1,000 units? Oh, for five grand. Yeah, I'm all for that. That gives us a nice bit of profit there. That's that's actually not too bad. Um, we've got one of those seedlings. So we might as well sell that. Ah, right. And now let's plant these. Just get these in. So buckwheat seeds... You too. Go and do that. Absolutely fine. Have you done that field? Yes. Field is done. Okay. Good. Right. How long are they going to take? 160 and against 103. That's not so bad. Right. We need all this doing kind of working right now. 
and the tractor's really on its last legs. Okay, as soon as it's done all this work, we shall get somebody in to repair and renovate and <laughs> spruce up the falling apart tractor. But we just need all this to be done right now. Okay, they are in. Lovely. Right, and other one. Coals of seeds. Do that. Yes, please. Coals are in that one, please. Oh, hang on. What did I put in that one? Is that buckwheat? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't put the same things in. Good. Uh, anything to harvest? No. Of course, we've got our pears. Now, one thing that is missing from this, one thing that uh, kind of somebody alluded to sort of in the comments, and then I thought, oh, yeah, that's not really very good, is it? There is no cider. We've got beer and we've got wine, and obviously we can grow apples and we can grow pears and things, but we can't make cider, which is a bit of a shame, but there we go, never mind. Uh, right, fertility of this. We'll up that, go to there, get some manure also. Big, big hit there to the monies, but we'll do that. We'll pay for the irrigation system just to make sure that we don't have to bother. Okay, also we might be, we're running out of manure. We've had that for absolutely ages, that manure. It's been there for years. Does manure not go off? I suppose it's already off. I thought it might have decayed to a point where it's not going to be any use, but clearly it's fine. Right, okay. And now we can go in. I should have ordered the seeds beforehand, shouldn't I really? I should have ordered them beforehand. Come on, tractor, you can do it. You can do it. You've got one trip to make and then somebody can come and actually, you know, sticky tape you back together. It's all fine. Okay, uh, this... So this was, hang on, what's that field? Let's just do it right. That was Simcoe. So this field here needs to be Marinka. Yes. Do I have enough money to do this? Do I have enough money? Uh, probably not. <laughs> I probably didn't have enough money. Oh, dearie me. Okay, fine. Well, let's hope these strawberries are really good. <laughs> Can we start making some honey, please? I mean, the temperature is just about right for honey. That would be great. Right, there's a little delivery truck. Let's get these in. Put the marinkas in on a machine. Yep, yeah, get on with that. Right, can we... Yeah, we'll sell some stuff, actually. I bet there'll be some leftover seeds and stuff that might make us pittance. So we might be all right. We might get hands on something. Um, well, the temperature went down. It's a cold April. We need it to be a bit warmer so there can be bees making lots of lovely honey because we've got no money at all. <laughs> we've burned through over 400,000 monies. Oh, dearie me. Okay, okay, it's all fine. Right, tractor just about gets back to here. I can hear it creaking. I can hear it creaking from up here. Right, the last ones are going in. Last couple of rows and da da sorted okay right they can go over there and lovely and relaxed right there's some strawberries there's some strawberries something that can make us money yes please we'll absolutely have that nothing else making us money right uh any wine any wine just popping in there making us some money no we've got a marinka seedling left yay <laughs> that will save us now weird enough look that wine is sitting there 187 units with the one blended wine is worth that much money. But I, I don't think that's kind of the right thing to do. I don't think we should do that. So let's go to sell. Let's sell the strawberries for absolutely nothing. Strawberry prices are terrible. We've got just over 6,000 monies. I think it costs more than that to run the farm. I think it costs more than that to keep the farm afloat. Now, 10 degrees means the bees should be out in force doing being doing bee stuff <laughs> they are being so that's good uh all these hops are looking pretty good the grapes are looking pretty good 107 days left um this yeah so we're not produced this is the thing with this though isn't it this is the thing with our beer and wine it's an entirely seasonal thing nothing is happening right now at all we're not producing anything except these things here because the brewery can't make anything because it's got no hops so we need to just sit and be very patient and wait for around 90 days for something to happen, for us to get some money somehow. Right, in the meantime, can we do this? Can we renovate for 357 monies? I think that's probably a good investment. Let's renovate the tractor. Now, I was never really sure what the difference was between renovate and repair. It's the same thing, surely. So um, we'll get somebody in. We'll get your, your engineer man in. There he is. Just wandering around, whacking it with a hammer occasionally. I'm sure that'll help. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that tyre as well. Yeah, ooh, need some air in that, mate. Ooh, blimey. Well, it's your axle rods, isn't it? Yeah, you got your triple stitch clutch modulator. That's come off as well. So, um, 
Yeah, hopefully he can make that slightly less rubbish kind of thing. And now it is just a case of waiting. We just got to sit and wait. They're going to take 113 days. That's 187 days. So yeah, there's a there's a bit bit of a wait now, as we sort of just sit back, watch the stuff happen, get the stuff out of the greenhouses, and hopefully try and earn enough money out of these things just to make sure that we um, are able to pay the wages for next month. I don't really want to go into negative money. That would be bad. So um yeah, we'll keep it ticking over until stuff is ready. Okay, we just survived the turn of the month. Only just 1,829 monies we've now got. And that's only because I went in and sold some more of the uh, malt stuff they're making in there. I sold another 1,000 units of that. And I sold a little bit of the um, the chemicals that we've got, you know, the stuff that we treat the fields with, because we've got quite a lot of it and we don't need it. I think I just, at the start of this particular little mini series, I bought a hundred, whatever it is, liters of each one. And I don't think we need that much. So I sold 15 of each one just, you know, to, to actually give us a tiny bit more money. And it might have just been enough. It might have just been enough. However, next month, ah, now, honey, Honey is appearing. Oh, happy days. Right, okay, that's good news. Let's just get those guys to get the um, the peppers out as well. Right, in the meantime, we can try and sell the strawberries oh, for a completely tragic price. That's just not very good, is it? Oh, no, the strawberries. Right, peppers will hopefully sell well. But if they don't sell well, at least there's quite a lot of them. So, you know, we'll have a volume of items to sell. So hopefully that might get us over the 10 grand mark to then pay the next month's wages. Wow, we now really are sort of living for the uh, living for the end of the month. Um, oh, yeah, go on. Let's treat this. Why not? I don't know if they'll die otherwise. What was it? Weeds. Anti-weeds. Go on. Um, Mila? Oh, no, they're, they're doing this stuff here. Of course they are. No, they're doing that. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's more important. Getting those things out of there is more important because it makes us monies. Also, let's just check the uh, honey. We might as well have a look. Uh, 1885. That's not that bad. I'll sell that, actually. I'll get, I'll get rid of that. That's an okay price. I'll sell that. And the coals are... Yeah, the coals are an okay price as well. Yeah, sell all that, actually. Sell all of the things. Why is it not selling them? Did it not sell them? We seem to have some more. Can we sell the 15? Can we sell the 12 units of colza? I'm very confused. Can we sell the buckwheat honey, please? Yes, we can. No, yes, no. Who knows what's going on? Red peppers. Terrible price. Really awful. Nobody wants to eat peppers in May. That's the message I'm getting from that. Right. This is good news, though. This is excellent news. Right. Get a machine together. Well, the tractor's a little bit healthier now. We can get the first lot of raspberries. That would be very, very beneficial indeed, because those raspberries bring in quite a lot of lovely monies. So yeah, they'll do this. It'll take a little while for them to do this because they're doing this manually. They've just got to load the tractor up. But do you know what? They're flying through. They're doing a good job. Well done, folks. And they don't look particularly tired either, do they? They don't. They don't look sort of worn out because we've increased their strength by the training stuff. So yeah, that should be done pretty much soon. And that will make us a nice big blob of cash. That'll be lovely. And they should grow again, I would have thought. They'll grow maybe a couple of times before the end of the year. That will be excellent. Yes. Okay, right. All of those go into there. 1,600. And yeah, 47 days. So we might get another two lot of two lots of raspberries. And let's take a look. 22nd of the 5th. So yeah, it's more just volume. It's more volume that we're getting the money for. But not really. I might leave it. I'm going to leave it until nearly the 22nd of the 5th. Although that, that probably does mean that I might forget about it. Sell all the honey. Sell all the honey. Oh, the honey is going at a great price. Sell the honeys. And the multiflower honey. No, don't sell that. Keep that. Okay, right. Move time on. We've got enough money to pay people at the end of the month. Plus, we're going to get a big boost from the raspberries that are just there. So, yeah, we should be okay. We should be fine. Uh, oh, there's some strawberries there as well. So, yeah, we'll be okay until the end of the month. How long have we got until these things are ready? 68 days. So another couple of months, a bit longer for that. And then 94 days for that. So kind of three months for that. Uh, how long to the orchards? Ready? 182 days. Okay, a long, long time. Um, isn't that half a year? That's about half a year. That's about six months time. So the pears are going to be ready in November. Is, is that how that's going to work? That's a bit, it seems a bit late to me. 
But um, okay, fine, whatever, that's all good. Right, strawberries, yeah, we'll sell those. Are the raspberry prices going up or down? They're just, just tanking, aren't they? Do you know what? Let's just sell them all now. It's all gone. We're back up to nearly 50 grand. That makes me feel far, far more comfortable. I did not like having hardly any money. It made me feel nervous. But yeah, we're okay now. It's all good. Uh, okay, yeah, well, there we go. Back to waiting. Uh, train any worker to max level to get a reward of a thousand. Okay. Would anyone like to be trained to the maximum level? Um, oh, there's a couple of beekeepers who aren't trained to the maximum level. You, make make more honey, beekeepers. Oh, what? I've had that all the time. They've been like that for the three years that we've been playing. Yeah, let's sort that out. Thank you very much. Um, everyone else, I think, is pretty much maxed out. Obviously, not the strength skills. But I'm not that bothered about that. But yeah, all the other skills are all maxed out. So, um, okay, good. So we should see a tiny bit more honey come out of those guys as well. That is excellent news. Right, whilst not much is going on, I think we need to take a look at this. I think the best thing we can do is make this Hefuazen beer, an ale yeast, and it's going to require the Simcoe and the Marine Cops, which are growing, which is fine, but also it's going to require malt wheat light. So we need to tell the guys in the mill to stop making whatever it is they're doing now and get this ready. Because we don't want to obviously then get the hops ready. Go, right, make beer. And then go, oh, we've not got enough of the actual malt stuff that we want. So we're going to need to get some wheat. Because I think at the minute they're working on barley, aren't they? In fact, they're not even working on barley because there isn't any. So we need to go and buy ourselves some, well, we need to buy some wheat in the immediacy. And then we might get some barley again later. So let's buy... I don't know, 5,000 units of wheat. That'll do. We'll just get loads of it. Yay. And you guys in here, don't make that anymore. Stop making... Yeah, turn that off. Don't do that. And then make... What was it? Malt wheat light. Yes. Take as much as you need. Take all of the stuff once it arrives and make lots of that, please. Oh, I did get somebody out to work on the tractor because I thought I can do it again. So I thought I might as well get somebody else out to work on the tractor. Um, okay, right, back to uh, back to waiting then, I guess. Oh, crikey, right, okay, a couple of things have happened to the hops fields. Oh, and in oh, right, okay, right, there's an epidemic, is there? <laughs> a plague, a plague of things is sweeping across the world. But, oh, there we go, right, that's much better. I was going to say, we can't do anything with it because the tractor is uh, being worked on. Right, what's this one? That's weeds. Okay, right, there's weeds on this one. So, right, anti-weed on that field. Yeah, go and do that, please. Um, and then we've got strawberries over here to get out as well. So, yeah, you go and do that. And we'll sell all the strawberries in one big sort of bulk lot. That's really irritating, isn't it? You got weeds, you got fungus, you got insects. Oh, really? Really? All at the same time. So now this is going to be affecting, potentially, the crop quality, which is a bad thing. Now, I think that really affects how much we're going to get out. I guess the quality is... If the quality is coming down, then we get rid of some of the uh, some of the least sort of uh, high quality stuff, the produce, which means that our general total of what we harvest comes down. Right. OK, what have you got? You've got fungus. You've got some lovely fungus going on. So, yeah, go back out, Mila. That's your job. You're the tractor extraordinaire. Right. And now we can sell the uh, strawberries, which is nice for not very much money, given that there was two lots of them. But never mind. Multiflower honey is coming back up. Buckwheat's actually selling pretty well. I'll get rid of that. And coals, are, yeah, I'll sell it while it's up that high. I'll sell it while it's there. Right, okay, that's good. This field will be sorted. We'll get that one treated for insects. How long left have we got now? 49 days. Good grief. I do wish that that button would apply now. <laughs> It'd be lovely to just rock it through those 49 days at the special four speed button. But um, unfortunately, no, that's not going to happen. Uh, what's this one? Insects. Uh, right. OK, we'll get this done and we shall go back to doing some more high quality waiting around. Ah, there we go. That's quite good news. So the workshop on production techniques, whatever it is, number three is finished. So our people will make even more beer and wine whenever they get on with it. But more importantly, the malt guys are going to be in there or whatever you're making. Yeah, you are making malt. So they're going to start making some more of that, which is good. You know, that's not a bad thing. They're taking lots of wheat and turn it into this malt wheat light stuff. So that's pretty useful. But um, yeah, OK, so do we want to do any more training? Is there anything we particularly want? Is there anything we really need? Not really. Slows the wear of machines by 15%. I did get the first one of that. Yeah, do you know what? 
why not? It's only three grand. We've got the money for it now. We're kind of pretty safe financially at the minute. So yeah, let's get that. Let's uh, slow down the wear and tear of all our sort of uh, farm machinery and stuff. We might as well. Now, at some point, at some point soon, isn't the wine going to be available to be sold? I mean, where, when is this going to happen? 25th of the 8th, 24th of the 8th. Ah, right. Maybe that's... Ah, that's quite handy. So at the bottom there on the little tooltip, it says aged one year, 25th of the 8th, 2019 to 24th of the 8th, 2020. So we need to wait for the 24th of the 8th. Are they the earliest ones that we've got? Ah, that's why they're in all different batches because that is when they need to actually come out of the thing. That's when they need to uh, come out of the wine cellar and then get sold. Because look, that went in on 10th of the 1st, 2020. Wow, that was made this year. Okay, cool. But yeah, yeah so that's what the order is. So in on the 24th of August, which is not that far away, we are going to get ourselves 656 units of lovely wine to sell. And hopefully it shall make us some good good money's out of that because that'd be lovely that's kind of really the thing that we need to find out we've obviously we've made the wine we've done whatever we do to make the wine we've you know, put it in barrels and jumped up and down on it with our feet and stuff so um yeah now the only thing left really with the wine is to is to sell it and see how much we get for it are the peppers almost ready three days until the peppers are ready uh 48 days for all of the different wines 32 days for the uh hops that's pretty good that's pretty good. It's coming down quite nicely. And huzzah, the hops are ready. So right, let's just get on with it, shall we? Let's absolutely just fly through and get some of these hops done. So there we go. Right, field number one. So the Cascade hops. Now, I have set this place just here to use the Cascade hops and the Chinook hops with the Pilsner malt barley because we've got quite a lot of that. Oh, I failed the contract. Uh, which one I fail? Was it the bank one or something? Okay, whatever, it's fine. So yes, yeah, so we've still got quite a bit of that Pilsner malt barley just sort of sat in here. Look, three and a half thousand kilos of it <laughs> just sitting around. So that's fine. So we want to get out the uh, the Cascade, which we're doing, and the Chinook. So which one is that? Right, that's not that one. So the next thing we want to do is this field just here. And then they can start making us some beer, which is lovely. Oh my goodness, all sorts of things are ready for harvesting. Um, okay, right, those fields over there, they can wait. They can absolutely wait. Right, machines, back on that one, please. And now we can go over here. We can get some strawberries out with the remaining two people. Absolutely fine. Right, how long until these are done? 22 days, nine days until those are done. And then we can start getting this thing into operation. Now, yeah, we still don't need to employ the people. There's no point right now employing the people to work in here until we've got these hops done. Now, because the people just magically appear, which is brilliant, the people just sort of go ping and appear in existence, then, um, yeah, we don't really need to worry about, you know, sort of people taking time to arrive. As soon as we hire them, they magically teleport their way into the little house. So as soon as we've got ourselves these things harvested... We will then go to here and we will hire lots of people. Right, we've got Chinook hops done, which is beautiful. We've also got some strawberries done, which is slightly less exciting at the minute, but that'll do. Right, let's get the other ones. Uh, also, we will sell the strawberries because why the heck not? There we go. Let's go and sell them. Oh, the strawberries are actually worth money again. Hooray. <laughs> Lovely. Also, we've got loads of honey. Let's try and sell that as well. Buckwheat, that's going pretty nice. Coles are no. Multiflower. Yeah, go on. Why not? Let's sell it. 10 grand. We'll get 10 grand out of that. That's absolutely fine. More strawberries. Yep. Two of you can go and grab that. Okay. And then we're going to have the citra hops, which we don't particularly need, but we've got anyway. Okay. Right. So we're doing okay for that. That will be ready imminently. And by the time we've done that, that'll be down to not many days anyway. So yeah, so we're all right for that. In terms of wine, how are we looking? Seven days until all of the wine. Right, okay. So the citrus been done. That's it for those fields for the rest of the year. However, you guys should start making some beer again. There you go. You've got the blend stuff. You've got the Cascade and the Chinook and the Pilsner Malt. So you should be making us some delicious beer, he says. Should be. Oh, start. Yeah, that would be good, wouldn't it? If I told you to actually go forth and make the beer, that would be useful. Yeah, please proceed. Proceed and make us lovely alcoholic beverages. That would be fine. Right, we've got some strawberries to sell. And then I think once we've sold these, 
we go to here and go, yep, sell, splendid. That should be pretty much ready to go. Come on, come on, let us get the Simcoe hops. That would be great. And then, yeah, once they're done, that'll be ready. And then we can see what this thing does. And we'll just churn out some beer. And then, by the time that is ready... Oh, these are going to be ready as well, though, on the insects on our field. No, 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 not now. Okay, right, okay, right. Th this is now priority. Get these out. But then, as soon as you finish that, go and spray this field. <laughs> oh, that's really irritating, isn't it? How irritating. It's days away and all of a sudden there's loads of insects. Right, do this quick. Quicker, 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 quicker. Drive it quicker. Drive it really fast. Foot to the floor. Pedal to the metal kind of stuff. Um, you guys can go and get that. Lovely, lovely. Now, these are going to be ready in a minute as well. Also, these haven't had any issues. I don't think the wine has ever had anything on it. Do insects, fungus and weeds not like growing on vineyard bits? I find that hard to believe, if I'm completely honest. But okay, fine. Uh, the orchard is looking good. They are coming back with those hops. Right, splendid. They're coming in with those hops. We've got those. Right, go and spray this with anti-insect stuff. Do it really quickly. There, yes. Because the quality is coming down. Because the insects are eating our hops. The pesky insects. Okay, you've got the sprayer. Go forth and do the spraying. Right, I've got strawberries to sell. My goodness me. Right, okay, it's all kicking off. All of a sudden, there's like nothing to do for a long, long time. And then stuff happens. It is the way of farm manager. Right, okay. Um, let's... Oh, now there's grapes. Now there are grapes. Um, okay, let's get these grapes first. Let's get the Chardonnays in. Uh, we'll do that quick. Get Chardonnay. And then that'll probably be ready by the time they've got the Chardonnay in. So can we start making... Not Malbec, because you haven't got Malbec. But we will have some Chardonnay at some point. So start doing that, please. Yeah, just make some Chardonnay wine. <laughs> I thought Chardonnay was champagne. But whatever, make some stuff with Chardonnay, please. That would be great. Uh, in the meantime... Ooh, those peppers are going to take quite a long time to do, aren't they? Have we got two people doing it? Yeah, do you know what? It's fine. As long as we've got another spare person to come and do the other hops and things... Okay, so now we've got loads of those. That is ready in six days. We've got time to go and get another load of grapes. So we'll do that. Our poor tractor is looking very worn out again. <laughs> oh, the poor tractor. So we'll get these grapes. But now they should be making some shot. They are making Chardonnay because they've got the thing. They're going to be making loads of it. In a couple of weeks, we will be able to see how much we can make for wine. Which is very exciting because we've been waiting an awfully long time for that. And then that will be ready in four days. So while this is all happening, let's just employ some people. I'm just going to go forth and find us five people that have got the production skill and strength possibly. If we can find somebody. Wow, there's nobody on that list at all. Right, go back to there. Is that the same list? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Okay, fine. Well, right. Well, let's find five people. There you go. You'll do, Alice O'Brien. Let's find, let's find four more people, shall we? Okay, they're all in. And if I upgrade your skill to the top of manufacturing, we pass the little sort of test thing there. Right, let's just get everybody else's skills up. I'm not really bothered about the money anymore. <laughs> not first. A couple of them did have five out of five anyway. We kind of hired some with, uh, maybe saying one of them did anyway. Right, there we go. Right. Everybody's skills are nice and high in there. Right, yeah, pickle the remaining people. So now we have people working in our industrial brewery. Three days left until that's ready. Do you know what? I think we can go and get that wine as well. Let's go and do that. Um, oh, I haven't got enough room. I haven't got enough warehouse space anymore. Ah, okay, right. Well, that's an unexpected thing. Uh, let's build us another small warehouse uh let's put it oh it'd be great if it could fit in there but it won't will it never mind uh can we put it just next to the big that thing there next to the brewery yeah okay that'll do right build that then oh no that means we can't do this in two days oh it's all kind of falling apart do you know what though we have got probably stuff to sell in there i bet i bet we've got peppers and stuff that we could sell which makes a little bit of room so that's fine and we could sell oh definitely sell that absolutely Coles are no, multiflower, yes. We'll sell that. That might have freed up some stuff. And we've got beer in there. 
We have much in the way of beer. Oh my goodness me, the craft brewery has been absolutely, they've been furiously working. Okay, so we've now got that. Okay, that, that's going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait, Field, because now we've got this. So we can go forth and get our Marinka hops, which these guys are now going to use. We've got the Simcoe, it's sitting there. We've got Marinka being harvested. Let's press start. And then as soon as this is done, they will then be able to start making us some industrial level beer, which is exciting. See how much we make off that. And yeah, we'll sell the rest of those red peppers for a nice chunk of profit as well. And um, right, now we've got, what were they? Malbec. Uh, okay, so stop doing that. Now add Malbec. I mean, can you mix Chardonnay and Malbec? It sounds terrible, but okay, yes, we can. We'll make some mixed bottles of that. I'm really intrigued to see in not very long at all, how much we can get for our wine. At long last, we can sell some of the wine. It's one of the final pieces of the puzzle that we've got. Right, you run into there. Splendid, drop all that stuff off. Okay, that's that done. Drop the trailer off. Right, they've done the Marinka hops. This is ready for harvesting. So we'll go and do that. Oh, all our farm equipment is just falling apart. <laughs> our farm equipment is in a bad way. Uh, it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. So now these guys in here should, in theory, be making beer. Yes, they are. They are making some lovely three blend... 937 units of it. How many units do they make in one go? How much does that go up by? 937 goes up to... What? What's the next thing? Come on, show me. This is, these numbers are all coming down, which implies that they are actually making the stuff. 937 up to... Oh, someone's took it out and put it in the warehouse. <laughs> you pesky people. Okay, fine. Um, yeah, let's then get these grapes out. Okay, good. And now we've got to check this because I don't want to actually miss out on anything. I don't want them. I mean, the hops are going to go off at some point. The hops are going to go off. Oh, we can almost sell the wine. We can almost sell the wine. Right, sell all the raspberries. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. The pills and the malt barley is going to run out at some point. It's going to run out. Let's sell... Oh, let's sell all that beer. Yes. Sell the beer, please. Yep, lovely. Sell that beer. Oh, beer prices are going up. It must be summertime. <laughs> there we go. Yep, there we go. Sell all the beer. Oh, it's not long. It's not long until we can get wine. We can get wine actually sold. But yeah, I like that building. I like the industrial sort of brewery building. I like the fact that you can see stuff inside it. It's a, it's a nice thing. It's not just sort of, you know, generic kind of, yeah, that's outside. I'd love it if the little people worked inside. I'd love if you could see the little people running around. But I think that might be a, a, a step too far for farm manager. <laughs> I, think, I think that might be pushing it a little bit. Right, let's let them get to the end of this particular blend of wine. Get to the end of that. Anytime. Bump. Right, stop making that. Now let's add in the Cabernet Sauvignons and make some sort of unholy nightmare wine. But more excitingly, we should now be able to sell some wine because it's gone past that date. But I can't say maybe it has to be past that date. Maybe it has to be the 25th or something. We can sell 3,750 units of beer. That thing will pay itself back in no time at all. Good grief, that was a lot of money right there. Um, so now we're on the 26th of the 8th. Can I not sell this now? 25th. Uh, how do I want? I want to sell these now, though. I don't fully understand how. Ah, there, there, wine. Well, that's a bit confusing. I have to click on it to sell it. Do I? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, sell that then, please. Did that work? It seems a little bit hit and miss, doesn't it? That doesn't really... That is not the most intuitive way around to do that. Surely that's not what you do. Okay, I'd like to sell uh, these 281 units. 27th of the 9th, 2020, allegedly. Um, but now, do they appear in this list? Does that wine appear in this? No. However... Does that wine appear in the list? Not yet, it won't. But as soon as we get past the 28th of the 8th, we shall see. Right, also there's some strawberries to be got out of the, the uh, greenhouses. So let's do that. Okay, so the industrial brewery just absolutely churns out a great deal of stuff. That is very good. I like that. I mean, the big problem we've got really is hops. Really, 
we'd need to replant some of those um, fields and just get Simcoe and Marinka hops because we're just going to absolutely burn through those things. Um, the wine is slightly less intuitive. It's the 28th of the 8th. So now that is the deadline day for this 2019 blend of wine that we've got. So if I click that now and then scroll down the sell bit, is that wine in the list? No. Okay, but there was some wine at some point in the list because I went and sold it. I don't understand. Uh, more bit, another 31 grand from the beer. Okay, this is this is going swimmingly well. Right, we'll have the strawberries and go like that. Uh, one, one last thing I want to do. I, I'd love to get enough money to upgrade our house. That's all I'm going to do. I don't need to. I don't need to at all, but I'd like to get 400 grand if at all possible. But I think we probably can get that if we sell all the stuff we've got, because we've got loads of honey on us. We've got all these sea, uh, the, the um, hops sitting around, loads of grapes, some strawberries in there. That's another six grand. And look, more wines appeared. More wine has appeared. 28th of the 8th. Uh, yeah, OK. We don't get that much from wine. Wine is not as profitable as I thought it might be. 1311. Whereas uh, if we could find some beer in there. Uh, no beer in there right now. Yeah, okay. Are you guys still able to make beer? Yep, they're still making some beer. So I wonder if I wonder if just wine is just not as profitable as beer in the game. Maybe maybe that's maybe them's the rules. Take a look at beer. Eight thirty eight. I think it's volume. I think if one hang on a minute, one unit of beer is eight thirty eight and they're able to make three thousand seven hundred and fifty units of it, that is obviously greatly profitable. You can go, yes. Whereas a bottle of wine, if this is the prices for wine, two hundred and eighty one units, nowhere near what they were for fourteen thirty five, it's not going to be as profitable, is it? It's just not going to be as good. So yeah, that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? That's a bit of a shame. I thought the wine was going to be the good thing. Maybe you need to leave it for a gazillion years in the little uh, wine cellar thing and the prices pick up. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I am not going to find that out. I think we've done everything we can do in this little sort of uh, in this look at the uh, brewing and winemaking DLC. I don't think we can do much more. We've built all the new buildings. We've planted lots of the different things. We've got vineyards. We've got things with um, the hops on. And I think we've done pretty much everything we can do. So let's just go forth, sell the... Um, we can certainly sell... Well, we can sell those strawberries for a start. That'll, go, that'll do. We'll have those. One blend of wine, 3,600. Yeah, it's just not very good, is it? Colza, we'll sell that for 21 grand. Multiflower, eight grand. Yep. Yeah. Buckwheat, yep, yeah, another six grand. Uh, an awful lot of beer. Um, that one's looking for a good price, 15 grand. That beer is coming down in price, but another 23 grand. Okay, another 1,320 units. Oh, no, that's gone, is it? More multiflower honey, sell that, a little tiny bit. More wine? No, that, that's gone. Um, so, yeah, what I want to do is... I want to I want to upgrade our farm owner's house. We don't need that much more money to do that. I think another round of brewing here would probably do the job just fine. So I think we can probably sell. Uh, we've got Cascade and Chinook. We're using Cascade, Chinook. So we're not using the Citra hops at all. So we could sell the Citra hops. Absolutely, we're not we're not using them. So that's another twenty eight grand. So we have got enough money to upgrade our farm owner's house. <laughs> If we so wanted, we've also got some wine that we can sell. Um, got some more coals that we could sell. We've got beer that we can sell that's come back up. 16 grand. Do you know what? We've got enough money. Let's just do this for no reason at all. Let's upgrade our farm owners. I do like the way upgrading it means utterly removing every trace of it from existence and then rebuilding it again. It's bit, I just want an extension. I just wanted a new light putting in on the porch. <laughs> could you not have done that rather than obliterating my entire house and then starting again but okay it's fine right so there there we go uh we'll get that in i don't know how complete that is and i can't click it to find out but there you go we get a lovely lovely improved house and a fancy pants garden for no discernible reason but there we go I think that is enough of a look at the brewing and winemaking DLC. And I think really the thing that we can conclude from that is that wine probably isn't that much sort of, it's not really worth it in the short term. I'm not going to leave this running for 
five or six years to find out how much the wine is worth in that amount of time. I, I, I'm just going to assume that the wine gets more expensive the longer you leave it. <laughs> but I'm not going to play the game for another five or six years to find that out because that will send me mad. Um, so it seems really that beer is the more immediately profitable one, if only for volume. You don't get as much per unit of beer, but when they make the beer, they make a lot more of it. So really the beer is the big sort of profit maker out of the uh, the new DLC stuff, out of the brewing and wine making aspects of things. But there we go. There we go. I think we shall wrap things up for there because we've looked at everything. We've planted all the crops. We've made the beer. We've made the wine. We've looked at the new buildings. And I think that is all we can do. That is all we can do right now. And I think that is enough of a look. And I've enjoyed coming back to Farm Manager. It's been nice. I do like dipping back into Farm Manager. It is lovely. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice sort of relatively relaxing game. When you're targeting something like this, I will admit there were points where I did just go and do other stuff. <laughs> I did pop downstairs and get a drink and I went over and you know, tidied up a bedroom and stuff because there just wasn't that much to do. Now, obviously, if you're playing the game properly, you'd have lots of different things going on. You wouldn't just be doing this. So, um, yeah, that's not, not really a fair thing to say. But, yeah, there were points where I was a little bit fed up, but just a nothing going on. But, um, yeah, I, I like what they've added. I like what they've added. I just think maybe some context would have been helpful. Some more sort of explanation of how stuff works. Because it doesn't really... Well, I'm saying it doesn't really. It doesn't at all explain how the brewing and winemaking stuff kind of is, is supposed to work. And then you, it, you have no idea with the brewing that you need a mill. Or you need to buy in the stuff. It doesn't tell you that. And in fact, I don't think you could buy it, could you? Was that one of the things at the start? You couldn't actually buy the different malts. You had to build a mill. Now, if you don't know that when you start up, you could spend all your money and go, yay, craft brewery, brilliant, woo, and then go, oh, I need a mill. Oh, I can't afford a mill. Right, better start again then. So, you know, it, it'd be useful if it said, oh, by the way, if you're doing beer, you need malt, which comes out of a mill. It'd be just handy to have a little bit of a heads up with that. But, um, but yeah, it was lovely to come back to Farm Manager. It is very, very nice. And obviously, the, this game, I do like coming back to this. This kind of set the channel on its path really in sort of uh between sort of january and april of um of 2018 this pushed us past 1000 subscribers and yeah you know it did very well for us so it's lovely to come back and i didn't want to do it a disservice by not looking at the dlc so um yeah i think we've given it a good look we've given it a good look on the little mini series but let us wrap things up for now for farm manager 2018 and the brewing and wine making dlc if you did enjoy it then please do leave a like. You know, if you enjoyed this video or the series as a whole, then please do leave a like. And also please do subscribe if you're not already, just to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard. And I will see you next time. Oh no, not the piggy wigs. Want them to be healthy. Happy pigs, please. Raspberries, raspberries, raspberries everywhere. I went through and sold a load of turkeys as well. And they still come back. They're still coming back to haunt me. The storm moisture's going down. We need rain. We need rain. What's going... <laughs>